Hello, everybody. This is um, a follow-up to the guilty verdict of Nikolai Mew um, in regards to the, um, the fatal stabbing of Isaac Schumann, who was 17. Schumann um, was autopsied after his sudden death, after the stabbing on the Apple River, and he was found to have three times the legal limit of alcohol in his system. Now, who is responsible for giving that alcohol to him? Um, aren't his parents responsible for him since he's a minor? Do his parents um, have any um, accountability in the equation? I saw a, a short video of um, the parents after the verdict was read and the court ended. Um, and there was a title that said, Justice for Isaac. You know, Isaac was no angel. We know that at 17. But the parents of Isaac initiated his termination. They gave him a final a, a deadline, a, an expiration date. That's what I call it. Every parent is guilty of murder. The impregnator, the impregnated, the birth giver, well, it's pretty much all the same. A biological parent is naturally a murderer. Um, there are a couple of reasons why I wasn't happy with the verdict. And, um, one is particularly that I see natalism as, um, you know, gaining ground. Um, and there's another reason I don't want to go into that just really just had me just, just really, um, conflicted. Um, I will say that Nikolai and his ex-wife were child-free. They had no children. So, uh, um, the pain he could have inflicted on a child uh, was prevented. Uh, no child of his entered this world to suffer age to die or go to jail and nobody you know anticipates going to jail and especially him I mean he was educated he was um, you know served the community by uh, his job he was an engineer um, didn't harm any children by creating any um, that's innocence right there. What if the parents of Isaac had somehow supplied him with alcohol or allowed him to take beer or alcohol from their house? Or what if they looked the other way? Or what if they actually bought the alcohol for him? Aren't they also responsible for his murder? He acted in a fashion that antagonized Nikolai. Um, he put his hands around 
Nikolai's neck, provoking an incident. Um, basically, that's bullying. So, um, we have laws in this country, and it's illegal to drink under the age of 21. So, how is that going to be addressed? And another thing, um, when minors inflict wounds on adults, and when minors kill adults, the court often... Um, uh, punishes them through a juvenile court or um, they're not even tried because of age. There's a lot of age discrimination in this world. But, uh, I mean, I guess he met all the criteria for being um, considered uh, a murderer. But the parents are 100% guilty for the boy's existence and death. And he would have eventually died. I guess that's not something you could tell the judge, right? Jot your thoughts down below. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. And, um, I really, I'm really heartfelt for everybody in this equation. And Nikolai had a pet Yorkshire Terrier who he loved. So he lost a lot. He's losing. I don't think they allow pets in prison it's sad it's he did not anticipate the tubing event on apple river to go in such a downward spiral and nobody can predict what their life is going to be not one person and one thing I've learned in life is that you cannot count your chickens before they're hatched. If somebody says, hey, you know, your letter's going to be there by 5 p.m. And it's going to be delivered by FedEx or whatever. Or I'm giving you, you know, I'm sending you a birthday gift. No, <laughs> don't count. Your chickens before they're hatched. A FedEx plane could go down. <laughs> you know, death is always in, in the equation of people who are living. Death should never be unexpected. But anything and everything can happen in this life. Even to a senior citizen, um, otherwise peacefully considered um, behavior from you know a professional man like Nikolai anything and everything can happen in this world and therefore it is best never to bring anyone into such an unpredictable and cruel world because there are so many obstacles and so many horrible fates in store for us all and um, the, the child free individuals are the most innocent in my mind he's not guilty because he did not ask for existence and you do not have free will you have a set of genes or appetites or personality disorders, mental, physical illnesses that you cannot control. 
Therefore, we have no free will. So thanks for watching for 10 minutes.